Hello you jacket pockets that insist on getting caught on door handles, Jim Sterling here and this is the prototype version of The Good Life, a game by Swery65, who directed Deadly Premonition, obviously one of my favourite games of all time because it is gloriously terrible, and this one is a little bit different, but then also a little bit similar. It's got a murder mystery plot, it involves a character in a small little town, uh, obviously Swery65 is a big fan of Twin Peaks, so I assume there will be many more uh, inspirations from that David Lynch series to be found here, especially with a new series of Twin Peaks having come out not all that long ago, probably plenty of new material for him to quite liberally help himself to. Anyway, uh, I covered this when uh, just a trailer existed of it, uh, and I, I looked at the trailer and, and talked about that and said it looked interesting. The art style uh, is, it reminds me a little bit of Wooden Marionette, everything from the hair to the clothing to the faces, they all look like they've been carved out of wood and some might not like the angular simplistic style uh, I quite like it uh, it especially helps the the whole game with the camera mechanic as you can see here I'm taking a photograph or trying to get a photograph of this truck uh, it reminds me of the Wind Waker the Picto box I think it was called a Picto box from the uh, the Wind Waker uh, the bright colorful uh, cartoony slightly not real uh, surreal, I guess, would be the, the term for it. Art style helps with all of that and, and helps reinforce that idea. So there's some nostalgia to it. Uh, the demo here, the prototype, is only very, very short and, as I'm sure you can tell already, not a huge amount uh, of gameplay going on. It's mostly just a series of, of photograph challenges that are interesting enough. They're all interesting, simple puzzles. Uh, but, of course, this is just the very early going, so who knows how that will expand outside of you know what we've been told in in pre-release material uh, i am a little bit concerned about this game because it tried to get crowdfunding before i think it was on indiegogo at first and it didn't do too great well it didn't meet its goal and it's on kickstarter it's got seven days left and they're over halfway but it's not over by all that much i think i'm going to kick some money towards it i believe i supported it on the other one that didn't work out too well but I'm gonna throw some money to this as well uh, a because the prototype demo even though there's not a lot going on uh, I mean it's certainly better than that one they put out for that uh, what was it that game that concept were trying to crowdfund while they were still making mighty number no. nine and it upset everyone what was it red ash red ash I actually had to look it up. Red Ash, the indelible legend. That game everyone's sort of forgotten, so I guess that legend turned out to be quite delible. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't want this game to not succeed because I love Sweary 65's work. I've always been a big supporter of his work. My review of Deadly Premonition back in the day was a little bit notorious. Not very, you know, just a little tiny bit notorious. Nitorious with an I. Nitorious, like a little tiny hair knit. I love Sweary's sense of humour and I love his ability ability to take game concepts that are bad, they're bad objectively and scientifically, and yet he makes them fun, usually by just committing to the badness and following it through until it comes around the other side and is quite good. Though by his standards, this game is quite normal, at least in the initial goings on. In the very beginning of Deadly Premonition, things were weird. The main character was having an argument in his head about Tom and Jerry, Whereas here, you're just doing some standard, well, basically snooping, uh, getting involved in people's lives, spying on them, taking illicit photographs for money. Essentially, you're a paparito. But for a prototype, this is promising. There is more to do here than I've seen in several Kickstarter prototypes, which, to be honest, isn't saying very much, considering you can play some Kickstarter demos that have basically fuck-all gameplay in them. But the demo, which you can find yourself on the Kickstarter, start a page, I'll probably put a link in the description. The demo has three pal- uh, three- bleh, 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 bleh. <coughs> I'm keeping that in. Three puzzles! Three puzzles for you to complete, uh, all of them revolving uh, finding a way to get a photograph of something for somebody in exchange for cash, like I say, dirty paparizzo, chasing people down tunnels. So as far as simple proof of concept software goes, this is significantly meaty, even though there's not a lot of meat. And whatever meat it does have is fairly solid. The game is clearly uh, a bit rough around the edges. The camera seems a little bit too frisky. And there are some moments here 
here and there where you can tell that things haven't been finished in terms of uh, architecture. Uh, there's a doorway in the the bar, the cafe area, uh, that is open on one side, and then you turn uh, to the other side to try and get through behind the bar, and it's just a, a solid block wall. So there's little things here and there, but again, this is a prototype, so that's not the kind of stuff you, you focus on at this stage. If the game is near release and that's there, then that's a problem. <laughs> I just realised earlier I said solid meat. Anyway, back to the game. You can never really go too in-depth on the criticism when a game's in this particular stage of development. There's just not a lot to pick through. But I will say that I think it's promising. I see the potential. There are some games in this prototype stage, there are some games on early access that you can play, and you look at it and you think, right, this isn't going to go anywhere. There's no potential here. This sucks assholes. And The Good Life is not one of those games. It looks nice enough, if a little bit rough, which is understandable. It has content. A lot of prototype demos don't. Sweary is making it, and he clearly has a vision and an idea of what he wants to do, which again, isn't something you can always guarantee, considering some of the less well thought out crowdfunded campaigns we've seen over the years. But, is he making something people want? That's the question. I want this. I want to see where this goes. The demo did enough. Uh, the way it presented its simple little puzzles, which then turned into something darker, that got my interest. The trailer got my interest. The initial sales pitch when I saw this had my interest, and not just because Swery 65's making it, but because I think there's some potential in here. I like games about little towns with, with mysteries going on in them. In fact, I was lamenting the lack of a new Silent Hill recently and how that game, you know, it's a, it's a horror game set in just a one location, one town and I miss that I miss having like a good central location a town something to explore like that and this might provide some of that not to a Silent Hill degree of course but you know more of that deadly premonition weirdness silliness I hope to see some wacky well not wacky but but bad bad in the good way voice acting to to appear in this I would love for them to add that uh, later down the line I do have a feeling that by hook or by crook, Swery65 is going to make this happen. He seems very passionate about it. Clearly some groundwork's been put into it. It would be an awful waste to not see this in the flesh at some point. If this doesn't get crowdfunded, fingers crossed, maybe a publisher like Devolver picks it up, something like that. That would be nice. But then you never know if some publishers are waiting to see if something gets crowdfunded first before picking it up so that they can see if there's actual interest there. I think there's an audience for this. I mean, I'm a member of an audience and I want this. It's made by the Deadly Premonition bloke, for fuck's sake. What's not to be interested in? Unless you didn't like that game. Oh yeah, that, that might be it. That might be it. Some people didn't like that game. Those, those people are wrong people. We call them wrong people in the business. Wise people like me very eloquently describe Deadly Premonition as like watching two clowns fuck and eat each other at the same time. It's ghastly, but you don't want to look away, and also it's kind of funny. Deadly Premonition was brilliant. And you know, past success is not proof of current success. This game might be terrible, but I don't know yet. All I can say is I played the prototype. There wasn't a lot going on in it because it was a prototype, but what was going on in it has tickled my little mons pubis with excitement, or if not excitement, at least interest. Intrigue. I want more of this. I want to see where it's going, and that is a demo doing its job well, I think.